Alright guys, we are back for another <clears throat> Dokkan Battle video. So, we had a data download on both Global and JP last night, and we had just, I mean, a billion units, right? This is, I I'm pretty, this is the largest data download we've ever had. Um, so, it's like, hey, maybe, maybe one reason JP was uh, so quiet this month um was because of this <laughs> you know the the biggest data download ever although i i do think that um like really hype characters in december probably has something to do with it as well so i guess let's let's just briefly um i can give my thoughts on all of the different characters um <clears throat> which ones are really good which ones are maybe not so good um we also do have um a bunch of events that are coming out as well right so keep in mind that there is an easy A, um, where eight characters are going to easy A. Uh, there's going to be an easy A area where the five free-to-play characters are going to easy A. Um, and then there's also going to be a red zone and a story event. So it's like we, we do have a pretty significant sort of like uh, data download like type thing coming in here, right? Like there's actually a lot. Now, real fast, before we take a look at the characters, um, I do just want to point out the missions um, that are available for the red zone stages, right? Uh, so I guess this Dragon Ball Heroes red zone, it has, it's three stages against Cumber, Fu, and Golden Cooler. Um, and I believe, okay, we're just loading forever. Okay, uh, I believe that, um, the final fight is against Cumber and that there are going to be missions, um, against Cumber. It's right here. So, this is going to be interesting, right? We will see um, if Cumber is going to be weak to, uh, like, Tech Khalifa, right? I, I anticipate Cumber will cancel dodging. I do. Um, I, I think that would make a ton of sense if he cancels dodging. Um, because otherwise, you could bring, like, Tech God Goku and Khalifa in there. I feel like that would be crazy. Um, so, there's missions for beating each stage, um, then beating all three. Then there's a mission for beating it with a full Dragon Ball Hero team, which is interesting. Th this, I mean, I don't know. Th this could, a lot of players just might not be able to do this. Because um, it's like, you would probably have to, you'd have to summon at least a little bit on these Heroes banners to be able to get this mission done. But it's only seven stones, right? So it's like, yeah, use hundreds of stones so that you could get the mission done that gives you seven stones, right? Um, and then finally, there's this one, which is beat stage three, which again is Cumber, um, in under 10 turns. I don't anticipate these stages to be as hard as the Wicked Bloodline Red Zone or the movie Red Zone or the GT Red Zone at all. I, I suppose I, I could be wrong on that. Like, there's no way to know for sure. But I don't think this is going to be as tough um, as previous Red Zones. I bet you this will be harder than, like, you know anything outside of any red zones or something or sell max in the game but probably not like that difficult right okay so all these characters by the way they are coming out um in the 1 a.m my time so basically two hours um all these characters are coming out i mean i guess let's just quickly go through them uh, i'll try and uh just give you know again brief thoughts lags not a fan um uh, th this is like a free-to-play character I, you know, she has a high chance of lowering attack, high chance of ceiling. I, I don't, like, typically, these are, like, abilities that are guaranteed. I, I, I don't, I don't know why she's only got a chance. Um, no support, no great defensive ability. She's only got a medium chance to dodge. I mean, any chances to dodge are good, for sure. You know, hey, Lags has a, has a better chance of surviving a super attack from Cell Max than, you know, at Limit Breaker, Super Saiyan 4, Vegeta, right? But, <laughs> listen, um, this is not, I think, a good design for a free-to-play character. Um, just, like, attack and stuff like, like, nah, man. Like, she should be a support type unit more defense give her the the status effects but then, dude like give, give her just like no attack at all i like i i feel like they're gonna drop a free-to-play character at some point who just has literally zero attack and they're gonna be very good i think um all right so we have these two are pretty much just throwaways for now i think both of these characters will be fairly good next year um now modified janemba it is interesting it it seems like the way I, I think the way Janemba works is 
he has you have a 50% chance of him guarding. When it procs, he's guarding for the next five turns, right? So Janemba is on turn one for you. He does not guard. Then Janemba's on turn three for you. He does not guard. Turn five for you. He guards, and then the next five turns you're guarding, I believe is how this guy works. So it's like, because of that, he is, I think, much better than anyone realizes. Next year, I think he'll be really good. Uh, the thing that hurts him so much, like a lot of these characters, you need crossover category allies. And this is a character who could really help, like, corrode a body and mind. Very bizarre, right? Like, like both of these characters, Modified Janemba and Golden Metal Cooler, are filled up with these links where they want to be used with, you know, Metal Cooler units and Janemba units. But then they have ridiculous freaking, like, crossover buffs. Golden Metal Cooler, this is a character, I think this guy's going to be really good next year. Right now, I, he's not really too impressive. Um, it's like on the crossover team, you get your full damage reduction up, uh, but it's like, he, I feel like he needs like a lot, like these, some of these links up, right? Like, you know, auto regeneration, like some stuff like that would really help him, but you're not going to be able to have those links up, right? Uh, they're only SSRs, so they're not really too crazy. Uh, so next we have these three. So we have hearts. Um, hearts is definitely good, right? Like, is hearts good or bad? I, I think he's good. The problem I don't like with hearts is how they restrict it. Like, you have to be running a full extreme class crossover to like it's so stupid. I, because it's like many of these, like like the um Supreme Kai of Time, like like you know, Supreme Opai, uh, you know, she is so good, but like, you know, you run her on the team, and then Hearts' transformation is then locked to, you know, getting hit five times and starting from the fifth turn. It, it's just very unfortunate. I I don't know, man. I I, I think Hearts is, is good, but him being super good is this. His guard for the first five turns, I feel like, is where he's going to be really effective. He is a time traveler leader as well, which is pretty good. Um, I don't know, maybe, I mean, maybe I just don't get it, but his transformation seems not really too crazy, right? Like, he's just, like, a damage-dealing character, but, like, again, it's like, yeah, with all, like, I, I hate that so much. I, I feel like Hart's Destiny is he's gonna be a very solid character for the first five turns while his guard is up. All right, he's going to be a, an extreme class support unit that's guarding for the first five turns. Um, trying to use him for anything more than that is probably not going to be a good idea, right? Uh, Supreme Kai of Time brainwashed very quickly. This is one of the best Super Battle Road characters in the game. Um, you have a rare chance to stun all enemies right there, and then a medium chance to stun all enemies right here. Either of those proc in a Super Battle Road run, you win. So, uh, she's going to be good there. Um, Super Battle Road Sages, I think she she's going to be a god. Battlefield, maybe, as well. Robel, I think, is really good. Um, you know, she's got Rainbow Orb Changing, she's got Scouter, she's got Dodge. Robel, I think, is kind of like a baby Chi-Li. chi, -Li. chi -Li is way better, but Robel does more damage. It's like, for all the extra, like, you know, extra chance to dodge, the support, the guaranteed Scouter that chi -Li has, Robel has damage instead, right? Which, I mean, you guys, uh, it's, you know, I, I would much rather Robel has guaranteed Scouter 70% chance to dodge than her doing damage. Um, I think Robel is pretty good, though. I, th I think she definitely can help out uh, quite a bit. Um, okay, so then we have these next four right here. Super Saiyan 4 Gohan, I think, is really good. Um, as long as you have just two other giant eight power category allies in the team, 50% damage reduction is really pretty strong with him. Um, I, I, I think he's actually very solid. Um, it, it's, you know, that's, it's not a crossover of Dragon Ball Hero condition. It's giant eight power. I, I think that the Super Saiyan 4 Gohan, this guy is going to be very solid. I think moving forward for quite a while, um, Super Saiyan 4 Gohan. 50% damage reduction, dude, that shit is just very good, that's very strong, um, Super Saiyan 4 Bardock, I think, is pretty much ass, um, I, it, it, it's like this, this sucks, I'm sorry, this is terrible, I, I think this is terrible, guaranteed crit above 90% HP, who cares, super effective against all types, 70% HP above, who cares, like, I don't know, I, I, I just don't see it with this guy, um, defense is pretty low, he does have a medium chance to dodge, Sure, but uh, medium chance is not that effective. 
I, I really think I've found that there's a huge difference between medium up to high and, you know, great chance to dodge. Um, I think Bardock is like, he's just not really going to be that usable that good, unfortunately. Uh, Limit Breaker, Super Saiyan 4, Vegeta, I found myself pretty unimpressed by. I, I don't know. Um, I, he, he just seems very generic. He, he's okay. Uh, it's like, when he's doing the guaranteed additional super, when you have this up, sure. Right? But, like, I, <clears throat> the thing about both of these conditions are really tough, uh, honestly, right? Like, it's like, uh, this was terrible for these characters. Um, I think what they should have done, maybe just make it just super class units. Or, I mean, uh, this ability right here for both of them, the whole thing should be for free. If they just had that for free, they'd both be much better. Super Saiyan 4, like, Limp Breaker Goku is way better. 30% damage reduction is pretty solid. Um, I, if you, I, I don't know, like, this guy, like, tanking some big super attacks is probably not too realistic, um, because your health, like, I, I think that this guy would be taking, like, similar damage, like, from the big bosses, you know, maybe, like, not Metal Cooler Core, I don't think this guy can live, because he's type disadvantage, but, like, Cell Max, or, you know, Broly, or Omega, or Final Form Cooler, or something like that. Like, this guy could live very slightly. The problem is that the Heroes team, you know, you're rocking 550k HP. You're not, these are not, it's not a 700k HP team, even though the entire team is under 200% leader skills. So, that is kind of an issue, I think. Um, I, I don't know. I, like, this guy is, is fine, but he, he could have been better. This guy should have been, I think, way better, unfortunately. Um, okay, then we have just, it's just a shit ton of, e there's so many ECA characters here. Uh, Demon Goddess Patine, I think, is solid. I mean, they barely, like, what did she get? She got 30% there, she got an extra 3% there, uh, like, she, like, barely got anything. I, I actually, like, for, her, for a free-to-play character, I like this design, right? She's got the support, and I think she could be very helpful for Super Battle Road stages, right? The 20% debuff and seal for two turns is pretty good. She also can stun high chance right there. Good Super Battle Road option. She's a nice support. I think Patine is decent. I, I actually kind of like Patine. Salsa, um, I'm not really too sure on. I, I mean, I guess he does have this dodge chance, right? Um, and, you know, he, he can build up a little bit. Uh, dodge is good, right? But... I. It, like, if we're really going to rely on that these days, I would really like 70% chance to dodge. I would feel much more comfortable with it, but sure. Um, Super Saiyan Cumber here. I mean, he... I, this guy is not like, oh my god, like, he's so busted. But this, is, you know, giant ape characters are, like, and like giant form characters and stuff like that. There's only so many of them. So he's definitely a nice addition to those teams. And un Cumber, unlike a lot of these other characters, he doesn't have the crossover restriction, the Dragon Ball Hero restriction, right? So you can just use him. Um, I, he seems solid. I, it definitely, Super Battle Road runs, this is really a powerful ability right here, right? And then he gets the extra attack and guaranteed crit if the enemy is stunned. So you can see how he could crush Super Battle Road stages depending upon the circumstances. Um, I feel like he'll be decent. He's also got the greatly lowering attack and greatly raising attack and defense right there. He's decent. Um, but mostly, I think, because um, of some of these categories he's on. Giant form and giant eight power. Like, those those are categories that need any help it can get, right? So, that that is good. Um, this Cumber, I I don't know. I, I feel like this guy is going to be shit. Um, because it's like, they want you to run him in slot one. Uh, and it's like, nah, <laughs> uh, no, no, no. I mean, he does stack, which is cool, but I don't see it. I, like, they want you to run a free-to-play character in slot one. Uh, no, sir. No, sir. Um, okay, so then we have the, uh, Supreme Kai of Time, Power of Time Unleashed, Supreme Opai of Time. She's looking pretty good. I mean, she's just at all all types, three key, 40% attack and defense support. And she could go up to 52%. And she's got a heal. I think she's pretty decent. She's got a seal. She gets 100% right there. Maybe a little bit more defense for her would be awesome, right? Like, I, like I would... I, I don't know. I, 
you know what? They could just add like a 50% chance to dodge to her. I think that would be awesome, right? Maybe just get rid of some of that attack or something like that. But I think she's going to be pre pretty solid support. Um, all right. So then we could, I just, I guess I'll just pull up the remainder. So here's all the rest of the new characters. Uh, this guy sucks. He's terrible. I, like he's, he's, he's just ass. He, he does, he will do nothing. Like he does nothing. His only value is the fact that he's a super saiyan three category unit, which again, there's really not that many. Uh, this guy's damage and defense are not really too impressive. He does have the additional for the first three turns, but who cares? Right. He's ass. Um, this guy is a God. Uh, guard damage reduction, high stats. I mean, he's got the great chance to stun as well for Battlefield and Super Battle Road. This guy is going to be a truck for a long time. He seems very strong. I think that this guy should still be pretty good too, even without a ton of Dragon Ball Hero units on the team. So I think this guy's going to be very good. Uh, then we have Super Fu. Uh, I think Superfu is, is decent. Um, you know, like, it, this guy would be a great option for, like, Cell Max or something like that, right? He's got the 50% chance to dodge, provided you got the full time traveler units. You know, he can get up to, you know, the, the 5, 6, 7, 800k defensive range, depending upon the situation. Right, like if he gets the dodge and stuff like that first. Uh, I think Fu, he's decent. I, I could see this guy as a floater. Again, being pretty decent with the dodge. Like, giving characters just, like, these dodge abilities is just so big. Uh, because, again, it's like you... Even most guard damage reduction characters, like, they're not going in front of Cell Max and, and you're living, right? Like, it's like you... you it's It's got to be very, very, very specific. That's why dodge is just so important now, right? Um, Golden Cooler. I think Golden Cooler is very good as well. Um, I mean, he's really good on the Dragon Ball Hero team, right? Once he gets all of these additionals, right? He gets the extra support. Um, you know, he, he's going to be very powerful there. This ability is actually pretty good on him um, because he's a support, right? It's like a, a support character like this. He's probably going to be in slot three, which means he will be able to safely super attack anyway. Only thing is you definitely would want at least two of those super attacks to proc, Um so, I, I don't know. I, I guess giving additionals for this guy is probably the way to go, right? Because, I mean, damage reduction is really good. I like this a lot, man. Damage reduction on my support unit? Hell yeah, dude. Uh, and then he's also getting defense right there, and he stacks attack. I think Golden Cooler seems pretty good to me. Um, Ames? Uh, I think, you know, maybe he could be a little bit decent. You know, he is a support type unit, which I mean, I think gives him a little bit of value, uh, depending upon the situation and stuff like that. They didn't really buff his support though, which sucks. I, I wish that they would have made his support a little bit better. Um, I, I think that this guy might just be like, like okay-ish in some specific spots. Nothing too crazy, but he is just free to play. Uh, Sealess. Um... I think Seelos potentially could be pretty good. I feel like his stats could get pretty good. Um, he does work rather well with hearts, right? Yeah, he does. He links very well with hearts. So we'll see. Again, you just start giving characters like high chance to dodge and stuff like that, and you're looking a lot better. Um, he does give a little bit of support as well. He does also give... So he's giving himself three key right there, which is certainly good. Now, his transform state... It does seem interesting. I feel like this guy's stats are going to be very high. Uh, just like looking at what he's doing, I, I, I don't know. I, I feel like this guy might be able to do a lot of damage once he transforms. I, I'm, I, I need to use this guy. I'm probably gonna. Uh, this is gonna be the next video I do. I, listen, I was, I uploaded twenty videos last night. And there's still more units to cover, right? Uh, I, I think that this guy is going to be pretty strong, though. I just want to see what he looks like defensively, but Sealus seems like he's going to be pretty good. Um, Okay, this character. Now, you guys know, I love the idea of going, like, full dodge on characters. I feel like it's just, these days, again, you can't live these big super attacks, blah, blah, blah. Dodge gives you a better chance, right? Never listen to people who act like dodge is not worth it, dodge is not good. Giving full dodge to almost all characters at this point, I think, is a really good idea. Um, because most characters have built-in crits, they have built-in additionals, right? You just give them a little bit of crit, a little bit of additional, go full dodge in their potential system, and I promise you guys, you would win much more often, right, with those builds. But there are certain characters, like this guy, where I think going full dodge is not to your benefit, 
This character can be ridiculously explosive, but it's about his counters critting. This guy, like, can be one of the strongest units in the game, I actually think, this, this great Sandman 3. If he could do 10 counters and six of them or seven of them are crits, the damage he could do is ridiculous, right? Now, yeah, I, I could see it where it's like, oh, like, you know, you give him full dodge, he dodges a super attack, you're good. His defense should be pretty good. Um, Maybe Cell Max could do a little bit of damage to him with normals, right? I don't know, probably not more than 50k, depending, I don't know. Um, Cell Max might be able to do some damage to this guy with normals, but for the most part, I feel like this guy should be pretty like, fine defensively against non-super attacks. It's just, like, you just want to get lucky, right? Put this guy in front of a bunch of normal attacks. He should do a lot of damage. I probably would recommend going full crit with him because the value of counter characters like this is giving them full crit crit counters, right? Um, We'll see. I'll, I'll use him a bunch, though. We'll see. Um, Maybe he's going to be so fraudulent defensively that you maybe would want to give him dodge. By the way, you do counter... Okay, so a normal attack, you dodge it, you do counter it, right? If you dodge a normal, you counter. Um, so you, you do want to keep that in mind, right? So giving this character dodge does not stop him from countering, but it just lowers your chance to get crits. And a 21% chance to crit is not good enough, right? Um, for a character like this, you really want him critting a lot. Uh, and then finally, we have Great Same Man 4 here. Um... Again, it just kind of like uh, Ames, not really too crazy. He does stack, though. Maybe that could give him a little bit of value, and he is a support, right? I mean, he is on, like, the youth team, which isn't the craziest, and special pose, and defenders of justice. So maybe great Sam and 4 could put in a little bit of work. We will see. But there we go. There is the data download. Huge, biggest data download we've ever had. Tons of new characters. These guys come out an hour and a half from now. Lots of events. Again, there's a story event. There's a Dokkan event. There's a red zone. There's an EZA area. There's a normal EZA. There's going to be two banners. The Heroes Celebration actually is pretty fire this year. So let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.